I will pick this side. Welcome to Templar TV, and today I'm going to show you the new way that I've been doing bases using the Sterling Battlemeyer. It's really easy, it's just three steps. It's Sterling Battlemeyer, Sylvaneth Bark, and Seraphim Sepia. And then I'm going to be using three tools today. I have the Citadel Texture Tool, it's just like a little plastic scraper thing, a large Citadel Dry Brush and a large soft bristle brush and you can use a shade brush if you have one I just don't have one on me right now so that's what I'm using and it gets this kind of effect on the base okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Sterling Battlemire and my Citadel texture brush or uh, texture tool excuse me I'm gonna scoop up a big old chunk of it like that much and then I always put it in the middle and then scoop it out towards the edges and uh, I had a problem when I used actual brushes for this because it would end up coming out too thin and you kind of have to use a lot of this stuff to get a good look in my opinion so I just kind of spread it out across the base and if you need more feel free to put more if you need less you can always just scoop it back in it takes a long time to dry so there's there's a really long work time and then once you get it across I take it and I like to just kind of rough up the edges a little bit in some spots just to give it a little bit of its own look um, but keep in mind that there's going to be a model going on this so you want some flat spots for its feet to go onto but pretty much that's all there is to this part and then when you get it on and to where you like it I always take my finger and run it along the edge and that way you get a clean edge on all the sides and that's what it looks like okay so now this one's wet and it's going to be for a while so the best place to put it is out in the sun on a warm day um, if not just set it aside for a while but like Martha Stewart I had one ready from the oven that's a joke don't put one in the oven <laughs> So next we're going to put Sylvaneth Bark on it. So for this we're going to want to, I'm going to mount it back up in my handy dandy painting handle. And when I put dry on my brush for this I like to get a little bit on there and then rub it across the edge like this. So it really works it into the bristles. And then that way you can really kind of gauge how much you want to go on the, the base and you want to gently brush over it to begin with and if you put too much it'll glob on so the rule with dries is that you can always put more on later so it's better to go too little than too much and then this will get all the high points so then you just keep going until you get to an amount that you like and this gives it a really good contrast so that the highs and the lows are really distinct and if you don't have a dry brush you'll want to use whatever brush with the hard bristles that you do have and that's that easy okay so now for the next step we're going to be hitting it with Seraphan Sepia and what this does is it gives it a deeper kind of earthy tone so I'm going to load up a bunch of this onto my brush and just plop it on there and spread it out. And this this will take a while to dry also. Not as long as the actual texture paint, but still it'll take a while. And like I said, I like to use a lot of this, so I'm just going to glob some more on there. And it gives it all a nice uniform brown color and it gives it kind of a, a dried dried mud look and then we're gonna set this one aside for a fourth optional step now for bonus points we're gonna paint the rim of the base so I'm gonna use some layman medium and Abaddon black and I'm gonna use about a 50-50 mix so I'm gonna put down the layman medium first 
and then I'm going to get some Abaddon Black. And if you do it the other way around, you'll get paint in your medium, which you don't want to do. But if you get medium in your paint, it's not a big deal. And this will be thicker than a wash, but thinner than a layer paint. And we're just going to drag this along the edge of the base. And what that will do is it will cover up the brown from the texture paint. And it will make the base look pretty new. And this is, you don't have to do this, but it really makes it look nice. And be careful not to touch the edges. If you do this uh, mixture too thin, you might find yourself having to do it um, more than once just to cover it all. But it's just that easy, and then we set that down and let it dry. So doing bases can be just that easy, and this is a squad that I've done them for. It's really simple, it's nothing too flashy, but it looks a lot better than just a normal black base, and it really gives your army a uniform look. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And subscribe if you want to see more. We do painting videos and bat reps, which we're hoping to do some more of real soon.